Hello, this is David Wormsey, and in this video, I'm effectively sharing with you a brilliant article I read a few days ago, which shows us how we can have faster downloading pages when we have embedded YouTube videos, and it also helps with mobile responsiveness. Now, the article and link will be below is over here at Digital Inspiration, and what the author shows us is the Google method of embedding YouTube videos, which is slightly different. What they do is they have it so it only brings forward the thumbnail associated with that video and it's only on click that it loads the other scripts and files that are needed to display that video so that significantly speeds things up now all I'm doing is I'm taking the code that we've got with this article and I'll just quickly show you that now so you don't have to listen to me go on with the, my little tests as we go through this video. So here is the shortened version of how you can apply this. So the first thing you need to know is that this is what needs to replace the usual iframe. So this needs to be placed in something like a text module or a HTML module. And then you'll need to make sure that this script has been loaded. Now, the best way probably to do that in Beaver Builder is to go into tools and just load it on an individual page. Go into layout CSS forward slash JavaScript. And I've already done it here. If we go over to the JavaScript tab here, we can see what I've placed in here is exactly what's in this article minus this script tag that's at the beginning and the end. These aren't required when you're putting them in Beaver Builder. And the same again with the CSS. This is the CSS that's been provided here, again, minus the open and end style tags. And that's pretty much all you need to get going. Now, I have made a slight change to the CSS in my version, and I'll explain this as we go on. But what I'm going to do now is to just show you how this works and do a quick speed test so you can see the effectiveness of it. So let me just save this out. So on this page here, I've got three columns with three of my videos embedded there placed in HTML modules and you can see just the standard method so it's taking no notice of the CSS and JavaScript that I've already added this is just the standard method and with this you have to make sure that you set your widths and your heights so they kind of match the area we've got and you're very restricted with that and it's going to keep to those heights so with something like this we would need them to just fall below each other okay for them to retain their same widths and heights so i'm going to save that and i'm going to publish this page and then we'll go over to tools at pingdom.com and as i grab this url we'll test the speed on this so i'm just placing this in here and i'm going to go to stockholm sweden which is the closest server to mine in london and we'll do the speed test and here we are so i don't take too much notice this performance grade but that's probably a topic for another video but the download time here is just over a second so that doesn't seem too bad but we are only talking about three videos here and you can see the page size here is nearly sort of 900 kilobytes and we've got 60 requests that's 60 different files are needed to be served to show this page and if we look down further here we can see the waterfall of those files being loaded and somewhere around here there we are there's our first youtube and pretty much the rest of these files all down here are what's been needed to serve up that video so let's go back here and i'm going to go back into the page builder and replace this old method with the new method something I've prepared earlier so I'm just going to go into my save rows and I've got my fast YouTube version and here we are so this is now going to use the method that I've already got under tools here and my JavaScript and CSS that's contained there and if I just go and open up one of these modules here you can see i'm using html here i could have used text and i've placed this in and i've placed the individual tag that's needed for this particular video and as you can see here you can't see the videos when we're using this method we can as soon of course as soon as we've published so let's just do that okay so we're good to go let's go back over to pingdom and we'll run the test again 
and let's have a look oh there we are so the load tower is being cut in half the page size has been cut by from about two-thirds and yeah much less that was 60 before on the request and as you can see when we go down on the waterfall here it's lost all of those files that have been needed in fact the last files that are needed here are those thumbnails uh, so there that's that's that so huge improvement there now uh let me just mention the css that i've added that's different from the original so I'm just going to first delete this and I'm going to load up my page template. So when you want to come back to the link that's below this video, you'll see everything that's there and needed. Okay, let's move that aside and I'm just going to save this. So on the original article, we'll see over here, he's added this play button here which is a transparent ping over the top and if we look at this CSS at the bottom here we'll see that it's been served up by image sharing service here so if you applied this it's going to work fine but I would recommend that you probably replace that and I've copied the same CSS original over here on this page with something that you've uploaded to your own WordPress image library just in case somebody decides that they're going to delete this or the service goes down at least you know that your play button on all of your different sites are not going to just disappear overnight but let me just move on to the thing that I wanted to do so I've used a different CSS let me just keep this still as you can see here I've replicated the look of YouTube and I've done that by using font awesome so if you're using the beaver builder theme or generate press or you have dynamic website builder that's with the font awesome setting turned on you'll just be able to use this css that i've added here and what i've done is i've just instead of having the image over the top i've used a font awesome icon for YouTube so it's got a YouTube one and I've needed in this case to add another square underneath it and position it slightly under and I'll just explain this so what's actually happening here is that the font awesome YouTube icon is actually see-through in that triangle that's in the middle so I needed to underlay uh, another square white icon underneath there just so it created the same effect as above and as you can see on this one it doesn't um, give you that darkening effect so if you didn't want that and you wanted it to look exactly the same as YouTube you just need to come to the CSS that's down here and remove this particular line here that's just uh, changing the brightness here okay so that pretty much covers what i need to do in this video i'll just mention one other thing while we're talking about videos is that something new that came into beaver builder 1.9 was the ability to add videos to buttons through a light box here uh, and you could also do the same as well because you can have html so i've done that on here we're using the same method I'll just get rid of this and here is the video starting using the video method. I just wanted to mention that I just tested these and this doesn't add any extra load through this method. It's not until you click on these buttons here that it starts to load the files that are needed for the video. So okay, I hope that was useful. I'm done here and I'll hopefully catch you on another video soon. If you have any questions then please place them below. If you like the video then please give me a like and if you didn't like it then please tell me where I can improve things. All right, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.